happy Friday. Coach Annie here from Tiny Troops. I'm the coach trainer. I come on every Friday for a game or activity idea you can try with your kiddos. And today we're doing a little bit of a magic experiment. And I think it will be, will be pretty fun. Um, so what you're gonna need for this magic milk color experiment is a bowl, or you might wanna have a few littler, smaller bowls. Um, so you can do this a couple times and try it with different colors. Um, you'll need some Q-tips and some food coloring. I've got the Tiny Troops colors, red and blue. And then um, I have some dish soap in this little bowl here, and then some milk. Um, I hear that warm te a room temperature milk is best. Um, so this has been sitting out for a little bit. Um, and so we're just gonna do our experiment here and see how it goes. And this is a color magic milk experiment. Um, so I'm just going to pour some of um, some milk in this bowl. And so you can save, and like I said, have a few different bowls and you can try this because now I'm gonna put, um, I wanna make sure that you guys can see this pretty well. Um, but I were, I'm gonna put some food coloring, just drop this. I'm gonna move my camera down just a bit so you can see a little bit more, a little bit better of this. Um, so I'm gonna just do a few drops of food coloring in my milk here, and then we're gonna see what happens when we put a Q-tip um, with some dish soap on it. What's gonna happen to this color? So I've got a couple drops of blue. You can do as many colors as you want. You'll at least probably wanna do two because then you'll, we'll see what happens after we do it. Um, and like I said, you can have multiple bowls with multiple drops of different colors to see how they all mix. Um, so now I'm gonna get my Q-tip and just dip it in this dish soap. And then we're gonna see what happens when I dip my Q-tip into this milk with these colors in it. So we're gonna put it right here. Whoa, did you see how that all moves around? So then you can go through and keep mixing all of this color. It's like the, it just like the color disappears, but then it comes back and you can mix it all up. Um, let me move this up. Maybe you can see a little better this way. Um, and now we're gonna start to see the red and blue mix and see what color it makes. Can you guys see it? It's pretty purpley over here. So that's why you could have lots of different bowls with lots of different colors and you can learn about what colors to mix together, make what new color. Um, and so this is something that can be really fun to learn colors with and just see this cool science experiment of um, and figure out why this dish soap makes the colors all disappear, but then mix back up together. And it can be a really cool thing that you can just surprise your kiddos to do, and I'm sure that they will find it so cool and want to try it themselves. Um, so there is our cool little quick milk experiment. I try to always pick things that you will have at home. So like I said, all you need is some milk, Q-tips, a bowl, dish soap, and some food coloring. So these are things that you probably already have laying around your house, so you could try it today. Uh, we'd love to see some pictures or videos of your kiddos trying this out. Um, be pretty fun and see what colors you mix together with your kiddos. Um, before I sign out today, of course I have a few announcements, just a couple exciting announcements. One, our first thing is something that our parents have asked us for for a very long time and now we are finally doing it and we're very excited, is we have some new merchandise that parents can per can purchase for themselves. We've had merch for our little troopers for a long time, but now we have um, parent, we have merchandise that our parents can um, purchase that we have a, a mom shirt and a dad shirt that say proud parent, proud mom of tiny trooper, proud dad of a tiny trooper. And um, we have sweatpants, some joggers. We have a really great tumbler that I've got my eye on. <laughs> We've got, um, you can also purchase, we have new socks that we're offering for our little kids and they have a little tiny trooper logo. They're a really pretty blue color like my sleeves here. Um, and then we also have a trooper on there you can buy. And, um, and so you go there, our most recent post on our Facebook page has a link there and I can put it in the description after I close out here. So you have that link, um, to go look at our little store with all the merch that you can get for yourself. So yes, your tiny trooper was able to get merch for them always, but now parents get to swag out and have some cool, fun, tiny troops, uh, stuff to wear to practice too. We can't wait to see how it looks on all of you. Awesome parents. 
Um, and another awesome announcement for our parents, um, our goal at Tiny Troops is to be consistent in our scheduling. So we always try to stick with the first three Saturdays of every month, but of course our coaches are human and things happen. Um, you know, scheduling conflicts, conflicts come up, emergencies come up, they get sick like any other human does. And so um, things come up, but we are trying to stick to that consistency of the first three Saturdays of every month that you can plan on those sessions taking place. So we have been hiring subs for all of our locations. That's our goal so that if our lead coach has to call out, we have somebody else that can step up and step in and lead that session. But we're now also starting a new parent sub program. So parents, you can sign up to be a sub at your location and um, you will co-lead with your lead coach a, one session to kind of get some hands-on training. Um, and then once you do that and do that training on the field with your lead coach, then you get a one month free for your kiddos. So great incentive to sign up. And then it's just an as needed basis. Um, so we might already have a sub in that location, but then we have even more backups in case we need it. Um, and then anytime that you are called on and you do coach, for a Saturday or for some sessions, then um, you will get another month free for your tiny trooper. And that will just be added into your account. Um, so great incentive for have our parents to sign up so we can keep the schedule consistent, but then also you can get some free months of tiny troops if you sign up to be a parent sub with us. Um, so that's a pretty exciting thing. If you're interested in that, you can message us on Facebook and we have a link that you can sign and use to sign up and find out more about it. Um, and then lastly, our August sessions, we had some weekday sessions already start this week and now our Saturday sessions are starting up tomorrow. So we're really excited to see you back on the field. Um, and if you have any questions about where your field is located, then you can go to our website. We have a directions tab and we go to your state and then find your location. And we have uh, the address of all the field locations as well as really detailed uh, directions from your military installation. Um, we usually do it from like the commissary or like a well-known landmark in your um, on your military installation and then you can kind of follow those directions right to your field of course if you have any questions you can always message us on facebook on tiny troops um, on our main page and we have admin ready and waiting to answer all your questions on the day of sessions um, and then there's also a post on the Facebook on our Facebook group or page if you have any questions about what your trooper needs to bring for your their first day of sessions. We you need a a, um, a water bottle, of course, especially these hot summer months. Um, closed toed shoes to keep their toesies safe, <laughs> and then um, some athletic clothes they wear. Shin guards are not required for our littles, our two and three and four year olds, but then our four and a half to five year old sessions we do um, suggest that they wear um, shin guards. And then, um, and then you'll need a soccer ball. Um, if you purchase one with us, then it will be there at the field ready for you, ready to go. The coach will have it pumped up, ready to go for your session. All right, there's all my announcements I got for you. If you have any other questions, please message us. We're happy to answer all your questions. And um, we hope to see you on Soccer Island soon. Have a great weekend. Bye.